student, I loved biology and physics, and I was always asking questions. So I found a way to combine my passion for biology and physics, and I became a research scientist. Now, I study the electricity of the brain, and in particular, the electricity of the brains of tiny newborn babies. Do science, you'll never regret it. If I was to give myself some advice to re-enter BT Young Scientist uh, as a second level student again, I think it would be to trust my imagination. I first got interested in technology, geez, when I was probably 10, 11 years old. That's when we started to first see computers. And for me, I absolutely loved coding. If I could build it, I would do it with code. I actually became interested in science quite late. I did study chemistry in school and I really enjoyed it, but after school I sort of lost my way and started studying communications. But it wasn't until I started doing a talk show where I was finding out about interesting things that were happening in science and technology just by chance that I realised how fascinating that world is. And now science is pretty much all I do and I love every minute of it. My advice is to maybe have past participants, so older students to come in and speak about their experience and how much fun it is. Here in RTE News, we're in the business of gathering, editing, broadcasting and publishing the stories that matter. And we couldn't do that without cutting-edge equipment and software developed by scientists, engineers and technologists. Seeing the holes in this rock and asking the question, how did the holes get in this rock? It starts here. Remember, it starts here. 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 It starts here.